Mistakenly, I thought that the tower and the hut that I found last time was something to do with the RAF base, but actually it was just pretty much exclusively to do with the Marconi company that also is founded and operates in Essex. I've come back here today with Rob behind the camera to discover the last remaining remnants of RAF Rivenhall, which still exist. There are some things still here. I'm not sure what kind of access we're going to get, but I know that it's going to be good if we get in there. So. Let's go and find them. The sleepy village of Rivenhall gives the site its name. Located out in the country, it's surprising to see this hidden past in plain sight. A huge military hangar now repurposed for arts and crafts. We start exploring. Dead end. It seems to be a dead end actually. Let us continue. Uh, just looking for our, like any rem remnants of RAF Rivenhall. Um, There's a hut or something. Find a bloody great hole. Oh, because they're excavating the uh, the quarry. Yeah, but so the only thing that's left there that I'm aware of is the aircraft hangar through over the back of there. Oh, it's just that big one. Yeah, I mean, if you want to climb over the gate, you're not supposed to, but as long as you don't fall over. Oh, um, you can see. The trouble if you go up that way, there is a walkway, but because of the quarry, you can't get onto the site really. Mm. If right, you go right. There, you can get to the hangar. Um, that's all that's left because the council made them take all the small buildings down because oh, the kids happened. kept getting over there and playing and health uh, and safety. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, such that's such a shame. Okay, yeah, nice buildings. thanks. Yeah, we're just oh, going to no. have a look. Sick, got it. Okay, so we're walking on concrete, which would have probably been the foundations for all of the huts right there. Is one of the hangars, obviously, absolutely huge. This old hangar has been kept in good shape and is currently securely bolted and probably used for storage. It's absolutely massive. You can see the old roads entering and exiting the hangar. In fact, whilst I had the eye in the sky, I explored the old road systems from above. This beautiful old symmetry of roads left in time to crack and crumble back into nature. The satellite images still match up. Near to these roads we found this. Well, this is perhaps all that's actually left of RAF Rivenhall, just a bunch of rubble. You see, a lot's happened on this site recently within the last five years. They have designated this area for a huge incinerator and there's protesting going on against placing an incinerator here. In fact, I'm going to outline some of the information right now. An incinerator. An incinerator is essentially a huge contained fire that converts materials into energy. It converts the trash into ash, flue gas and heat. The gas and heat can be used to generate steam that can power turbines in order to create electricity. Incineration has pros and cons, but it is not a form of recycling or a super friendly eco alternative to waste management. The incinerator planned here will be the largest in the UK and it's kicking up a stink amongst the locals. Essentially, the creation of a mega incinerator, oh, and also an anaerobic digester, mechanical biological treatment plant, pulp plant, and wastewater management center will cause an immediate impact on this rural village and the surrounding areas. The plant will operate non stop every hour of every day of every year. There will be chemical pollution in the air and non-stop heavy industrial activity. It's also possible that the 30-odd incinerators that already exist in the UK are underused. From the research I've done, I'm not sure what the situation is, but it seems like a money game. Greedy corporations want more money and slimy politicians want their kickbacks. So to make this place ready for the incinerator, or just to repurpose the area in general, they're just getting rid of all of the old stuff, which is fine. Times change, things move on, but it seems like I've just missed, I've just missed all of the cool stuff that was kind of just hanging in there. But just think, just think, right? Right here in the not too distant past, eight decades ago, maybe, there was an absolute teeming amount of people all fighting for a huge cause greater than themselves. It's the great wars they've been and gone and we'll never see anything like it again. And with the generation of people all gone, basically, we have no real connection to it. These things that we're getting rid of are the last kind of connection to our wartime history physically. Of course, we're gonna have so much written and recorded about it, but for a guy, a person, a human, that wasn't born then and grew up in this weird world after it, it's 
nice to kind of see, trying to imagine what it used to be like, what used to be here. It's a bit sad that there's just nothing here now. Pilots still fly planes over the area, looking down and imagining what it might have been like, I guess. A little homage to history. As Rob and I left, feeling somewhat let down by our discovery of rubble, we stumbled upon a memorial marker at an industrial estate that we had overlooked. Turns out it was another piece of Rivenhall history. A bunch of wartime buildings now in use for various small businesses. Our day was kind of fruitless as we completed a full circle of the site and wandered back to Coggeshall Hamlet feeling that although we were late to the party, we still got to see a tiny bit of it before it's all gone.